In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the driver's side front CV axle on your Dodge Ram located behind your front wheel. Using our 7.8 socket, we're gonna head loosen and remove our lug nuts. Now that we have the lug nuts removed, let's go ahead and loose and remove the wheel and set that aside. Using a 35 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and loosen and remove our axle nut. I want to go ahead and disconnect our ABS wire here. Right on the back side of the fender line is a plastic button. Most of the time you can grab that and pull it off, but if not, you can use a trim tool like this. Simply slide it up and pop that off. That's gonna be your ABS wire connector. I wanna push up on this lock tab right here. Push that up like that. Then you gotta press down on the lock tab. Separate that. Go ahead and use your trim tool and pop this retainer out right here. Again, pop this out of our clips. Then there's one right on the back right here. Just pop that out of that metal retainer bracket. And just let that dangle for now. Using a 21 millimeter socket, I want to go ahead and loosen this nut here for our upper ball joint. Now we're not going to remove the nut completely. We want to make sure that that stays on the threads here. So that way there, when we pop our upper control arm, these just don't separate and pop apart. We want to keep these retained together for safety purposes right now. Now we have a jack underneath our knuckle brake area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up, not touching it, but probably about maybe an inch away from the bottom. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to strike the top of the knuckle here. Now that we have this nut loose, once this pops, these two should separate. Then we can finish removing this nut, separating these two components. This is spinning with the ball joint. We're gonna put a wrench on the bottom here with a wrench on the top, finish loosening that completely. And we're using a 10 millimeter on the bottom here, and then your 21 on the nut. Go ahead and remove that nut, set it aside. Now at this point here, I wanna go ahead and separate these two. You wanna be careful when this separates, this is gonna come out. The whole knuckle will start to tilt away. We don't wanna have abnormal pressure pulling on this rubber hose here. This is where our securing rubber straps are gonna come in. We wanna go ahead and just kinda of anchor this off to the frame so it doesn't put a lot of pressure on this line. I'm going to use a 21 millimeter socket. We're going to go ahead and remove our outer tie rod and nut. Normally what you want to do is strike the knuckle here to go ahead and pop that upper tie rod in. Once that's loose, go ahead and pull that out and just set that aside. 
I'm gonna use a pry bar, just pop one in, set it on the frame, upper control arm, lift up gently. And let that knuckle swing off to the side a little bit. Let's see if we can push this axle through. Let's go ahead and secure this knuckle. And tie it off anywhere you want that's gonna be pretty stable. I'm gonna run a securing strap around one of the studs here. You use a block of wood on the back side of the CV axle here. And go ahead and give that a few bonks. Go ahead and work that off the stub shaft. Now I'm gonna push the axle through the center of the hub and pull that axle through. that out. We're going to take your axle, we're going to feed it in the back side here. And once we have the axle into this area, we're going to drop it down and we're going to feed the splined section into the back here. Feed it into the hub and then push the axle up. Now at this point here, we're gonna go ahead and release our securing strap. And we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and manipulate our knuckle and our axle out and work it back onto the stub shaft as we push the knuckle up and in. Once it starts to go in, what we're gonna do next we're gonna use our pry bar on the upper control arm. Raise that up. Let's go ahead and get that nut started. Next, what we're gonna do is use your pry bar. And you're gonna put it right on this little notch right here. We're gonna go ahead and tap this in. You're gonna be able to see you're gonna be able to see and feel that that axle is pushed on all the way. And we have our axle coming through the front side of the hub here. Let's go ahead and install the axle nut. Go ahead and get the axle nut threaded on. Let's go ahead and zip that down. I'm gonna use our 22 millimeter wrench and go ahead and tighten down the upper ball joint nut here. And that's good and snug. Go ahead and line up your tie rod end. Go ahead and get that nut started. Let's snug that down. Go ahead and straighten out our wheel. I want to go ahead and install our ABS wire. On the back side, we have the little retaining tab on the back of the knuckle. Push that into place.
press it in until it clicks in and then press your red lock tab down. Press that lock tab down. I'm gonna feed this up and push this little button into the fender liner and then press your little retaining button here into this tab. I'm gonna go ahead and torque down the upper ball joint nut here to 40 foot pounds. Now, if you have the 1500 model series, you wanna go ahead and do this an additional 90 degrees. This is specific for the 1500 model. 90 degrees will be basically a quarter turn. Install two lug nuts. Thread those down as far as they'll go. Rotate that wheel. I'm gonna spin this around. Go ahead and put your pry bar between here. This is gonna create a lock for that rotor so it doesn't rotate on you. Once you have that locked, go ahead and torque down the axle lock to 185 foot-pounds. Go ahead and remove the lug nuts. Set your wheel back on. Let's go ahead and get all of our lug nuts started by hand. Once we have all these on, we're going to go ahead and snug them down. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Torque down our lug nuts to 135 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.